Hello, my name is Simon Bingham, and this is part of my JNCIE Enterprise series um, for, um, on BGP path selection. Um, so, what I've been doing is working through the Juniper, this Juniper web page on um, understanding BGP path selection, and working through these one by one and demonstrating them. So, I'm now at number five. Um, it says, for BGP, prefer the route with a lower origin code. Well, what does this mean, and what is the origin code? Well, the origin code um, really uh, says what original thing um, inserted this route into BGP. Now it's a little bit out of date um, in some ways. Um, what tends to happen is with um, with Juniper, in a way, to, to use Cisco terminology in Juniper, we're always redistributing the routes into BGP because we use a policy statement and we say, you know, if you're direct or if you're static or you're from OSPF, then you know you accept it, and that's what you do. So there isn't really any concept um, as the, uh, like the network statement in in Cisco. And in Cisco, I believe, if you use the well, let me say what they all are first. So there's three there's three origin codes. Now one is IGP, that stands for Interior Gateway Protocol. So it, um, the next is EGP. Now don't confuse this with BGP, which is very easy to do. Um, so that is actually a predecessor to BGP and is now defunct. And BGP generally comes through um, as unknown. So in our case, um, any everything we put through into into BGP will have the I code on the on the origin. With Cisco, it's slightly different. As I said, using the network statement, it should be an I, and with a redistribution, I believe it's unknown. Um, so what it says here is it'll prefer the origin code of I. So if all the things above match, and in our case we've only got as far as the AS path. So if the AS path path hops match, the next thing it will look at is the origin code. So um, let's see if we can see this in action and if we can do something to influence this and prove this. So if we have a quick look at my good old network diagram here. So what I'm going to choose, so the routers I'm going to choose to do this are going to be 12 and 26. Um, if I choose 10 it becomes a little bit confusing because there's other things that start to come into play in that routers will only be advertising their best path and in some cases they'll be receiving routes in different directions and it's not particularly obvious. Um, you won't, I won't go into it but you know for various reasons it's a little bit more complicated if I choose R10. So if we look at R12, now R12 is this this R26 is advertising this loop back 100.0026 in this direction and in this direction. This then gets forwarded onto these and these and then redistributed in this direction, not redistributed, sorry, forwarded this direction. And if we look on um, look on 12, we can see that we get a good old four copies, no less, of of the route to here. So if we look here, it's getting it basically from every single direction. Now why is it getting four copies? Just to give you a quick insight, insight into that. Well, that's because he is receiving the route from here. Well, he receives it in various different directions, but he's only receiving it from one EGP neighbor. The the EGP routes are preferred. So, so if a router receives something in two, two directions, and one of them is an IBGP peer and the other is an EBGP peer, it prefers the EB, EBGP one. So in effect, this route's going up here and over here and then coming back down and up here, up here, up here and across here and then it's learning it via EBGP and EBGP here. So that's why we're seeing all these different versions, if you like. In fact, let's just do it. So what I'm going to do now is what we're going to do is let's look at the active route. So what I would like to do is in effect knock this off its perch by making the routes preferring the ones from 30. So what I'd like to do is actually at the moment the preferred route is going to be via 17 I think. Um, Next hop. 
There we go. So that's the active route there, which is that one there. Okay. So unsurprisingly, it's saying it's preferring to go this way. And if we do a trace route to 10.0.0.26 source 10.0.0.0.12 we can see yeah we're going via 17 so what I'm going to do is use that origin to influence that as the AS path is the same in every case so what I would do if we just take a quick look back here let's change these to an E and then this should then these two should jump to the top and be preferred so right on route to 26 I've got um, some policies here which determine what's exported here and what's exported here. So what we can do is we can just influence that route. So let's just do show. So going from protocol direct, route filter, that loopback address, then accept, and that's for this one here. So this group, AS10 to AS20, is applied under BGP already. So if I just go set term one, uh, then origin right and let's have a quick look here where we are right let's commit that so we saw what we had here we had the well not an R10 actually I'm looking at R12 right let's see if the moment it's choosing to go by 30, 30, 30, 10, 10 to the zero. So I'm not see if this changes. Okay. Thirty, ten, ten. Oh, influencing the wrong direction, haven't I? So you can see I, I have actually changed, changed this, and this is still a less preferred path. But in fact, that was that was the preferred one before. So let me just flip that back a second. So what it is, so it's still choosing the same path, but that's because I made this path even less preferred than rather making it the other one more preferred. So what we'll do is it's not a problem, we'll just go twenty-six. Top rollback one. Let's just check where we are on R12. Okay, we're all back to all lines again. And let's just influence the other one. So we go edit, policy options, policy statement, AS10 to AS30. So set term one, then origin. Set origin so we are preferring the route too many too many of these up now so we're still preferring the route by 30 I'm going to make that less preferred done it so you can see here the origin code now going via 20 is taking is, is basically being preferred so that's it so we've altered the origin code and we can see an origin code of um, I is preferred over E because by, by making the route by, by making this one here um, making this route have a different origin code going this direction all of a sudden it's saying oh well I prefer this in this direction actually it's going to come this way instead so that's it really, uh, not one I think you'll, you know, I, I think to be honest with you, this is more of just another knob with which to tweak uh, roots, um, rather than actually got anything to do with the genuine or or origin of, of it at all. So thank you very much and goodbye.